Yo guys, what's up? This is Tom from Unreal Meta and in this tutorial I will show you how to create a landscape material in Unreal Engine. So let's hop right in and create a new material. Let's call this landscape material. And let's go into that. Now right click and search for landscape layer blend and you get this node. So I want that my landscape has two materials, one grass material and one moss material. So under the array elements, I will add a new element and let's call this grass. And another element and let's call this moss. So we need to duplicate it a few times. So let's duplicate it for the roughness and duplicate it for the normal. You can duplicate it for the ambient occlusion as well, but I will not use ambient occlusion textures or specular textures here. I will create the specular and the roughness myself. Yeah. So you can basically do this with every material you want. I just picked grass and moss because they are not so different, but you can do it with rocks, dirt, grass, every material you like. And I just grab my textures now. And yeah, I have my textures here. So first the grass texture, it is here, it goes here in the grass and the output from the normal of the grass texture goes into here and this will be connected with the normal and this will be connected with the base color. Now let's do that with the moss. Here the RGB pin goes into the layer moss and here the RGB pin goes into the layer moss as well. And we see our material is gray but that's okay. It has to be like this. So we don't want shiny landscape and for this we press one left click and let's right click and convert this constant to a parameter and let's call the specular. This goes into the specular and for the roughness let's right click and search for linear interpolate. And press one on your keyboard left click and this will be the roughness maximum with a value of 0 0.5 this goes into the A press one on the keyboard another time left click and let's call this roughness minimum and let's give this a value of 0 0.3 and this goes into the B so the alpha of the grass texture will go into this alpha and this will go into the grass. And we duplicate these three nodes by pressing Ctrl W. And the alpha of the moss goes into the alpha here. And this goes into the moss. And this output goes into the roughness. With these few steps, we created our roughness texture and it was very easy. Basically, we are ready to go and can save our material. Now let's go to our landscape and go down to landscape material and create a material instance of our landscape material and let's drag that over here. And the shaders are compiling now. And now the landscape is black. So let's go to the landscape mode and to paint. And we got our grass and mouse texture right here, but we need to assign layer infos. So let's go onto that and let's make it weight blended and for the moss we make it weight blended too and you can see our material is applied and we have this grass material here and if we go to moss let's make this smaller and let's paint the shaders are compiling now but in a second we will see the moss texture yeah you can see the moss texture here and it works fine But as you can see, there's texture tiling here, so we need to tweak a few things. In the last tutorial, we created a macro variation. If you don't saw it, watch this and create your own macro variation. I will put the video in the info card right at the top. And let's go into that material and just steal the macro variation from here. So press Ctrl C. Let's go to our landscape material and press Ctrl V here 
and we get our macro variation. Now at this step, at the base color, we need to add two multiply nodes. So right click and search for multiply and duplicate this node by pressing Ctrl W. And this RGB pin goes into the A and this pin goes into the B and this goes into the layer grass. And another time, this goes into the A, this goes into the B and this output pin goes into the layer mass. So we got a macro variation. And one thing we need to do now is right click and search for landscape layer coordinates. And this will go into all the UVs here. If you're done with all that, save your material again. And this whole setup looks really complicated but it isn't that complicated. And if we go to our landscape now, we can see how the macro variation is going on here. And we can see the tiling is gone. Yeah, we can paint on our landscape with the material. And we have no tiling, no arrows. Yes, if you like this tutorial, leave a thumbs up. If no, leave a thumbs down. As always, I'll see you next time and bye.